So I want to call you Alex Are You because that's your handle, but I'm assuming that Alex Are You isn't your your birth name. That stands for Alex Russia. Am I right? Yeah, it's uh, first uh, I didn't had the intention to um, uh, make me public person, so it was a kind of uh, login that uh, wouldn't uh, discover my identity. So I am Alexey Gusev. Uh, I'm from Russia in Moscow. So now I decided to be public person. And you decided to become public, I think, just three weeks ago. I logged <laughs> into Slack. And I saw a post from you, and you said, "In celebration of Dash crossing one hundred dollar mark, here is a picture of me giving my first public Dash presentation here in Russia. I've decided to be public now." Yeah, it was not only my uh, public presentation about Dash, but my the the on my only public presentation at the moment uh, for big public. So it was a kind of a uh, huge event for me personally. It was a bit uh, scary and all this stuff, but uh, I do like it. Uh, yes, 100 uh, price uh, uh, mark is very important, and so I'm now quite sure that uh, this project will go further. Uh, and so I decided that my anonymity will stop me in some situations, in some scenarios, and uh, lots of people start uh, looking in contact with me to discuss possible cooperations and all this stuff. So I decided to uh, be a public person and to support this activity. Yeah. Well, I have to say, I think that that is wonderful. And I, I will be keen to see if other people uh, eventually choose to do what you did, uh, you know, to, to become public at some point. Because for me personally, it can be difficult getting interviews with people when, you know, something like a full half of the Dash Core team, if not maybe more than half, are, you know, like you used to be, anonymous handles online. And I ask them for an interview and they say no. <laughs> so I'm yeah. really glad that you became public so that I can talk to you. That's great. Although oh, I, I, uh, I see the strength in some identities not being known. I see that too. Uh, you see, there are some problems with um, being a public person because in some countries, uh, in Russia also, it's some danger in such situations. So it's always a kind of compromise between uh, being public and active and between being safe and uh, uh, anonymous. So I can understand people who don't decide to do, um, who didn't decide to be public yet, but the uh, situation may change and, well, maybe the, later when they will decide to be more public. Uh, uh, my English is not good, as I said before, so uh, sorry for all viewers. If you don't understand something, you can ask me. No, it's fine. And, you know, maybe I'll even subtitle this thing in both English and Russian, because that's what I want to get into next, which is, first of all, there is a, a YouTube channel that publishes Dash information in, in Russian. In fact, it's this fantastic girl who kind of looks, we both have dark hair and pale skin, and she makes Dash videos in Russian. Now, did you set this up? Who who is she, and who and 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 where is she? You know, who's producing the stuff? Uh, you see, she, it was a kind of uh, surprise for me also. So I found the girl who cre who uh, was a video blogger and created some videos about not only Dash but how to uh, make money in internet in general, how to install different wallets and all this stuff. But I uh, have noticed the sympathy that uh, she. Uh, gives to Dash project and I contacted her and uh, asked if she needs any help with that and uh, so uh, I helped her a little bit but it was her general initiative in the beginning and I just I still helping her and she is willing to uh, proceed doing this stuff herself. Wow. So she's she's quite independent and uh, she uh, do it on herself uh, YouTube channel, not official Dash channel. So uh, she's she's quite like you, independent, uh, 
and beautiful and so on. <laughs> well, I hope to meet her one day. Maybe I'll have to learn. Uh, where is she from? Uh, Kazakhstan? She She's Kazakhstan yet, yes, but uh, um, in Kazakhstan about 90-95% uh, of the population speaks Russian, so it's quite good that uh, uh, it's uh, several countries around Russia that uh, support Russian language and uh, Yulia speaks perfect Russian and it helps her to get yeah. your success. Clearly. So I want to rewind into the past a little bit to ask you, when did you first hear of Dash? It was the uh, middle of uh, 2014. Uh, it was my uh, investigation about possibilities to invest in cryptocurrencies in general. Of course, Bitcoin uh, was the uh, main, most obvious direction, but I dig a little bit deeper and uh, found that uh, Dark Coin, it was the name of Dash at that period, uh, suits uh, the best way, uh, of, to my impression, what is the best and more uh, uh, and more uh, viable cryptocurrency should be. So it's, that's why I concentrated most of my uh, uh, attention to this project from that moment. Yeah. And and then how did you become involved? Because, okay, so middle of 2014, you, you just hear of Darkcoin and you think that sounds like something I'm interested in. And now I go to dash.org slash team and I see your name and face there as a uh, head of Russian Dash coordination, or I'll have to get the exact title. I forget your exact title on the site. So how did you go from one to the other? It's a long story. I don't know how many times we have to, <laughs> to discuss this stuff. Um, uh, just but... the once. And then in the future, if anybody ever asks you this again, you can just send them the link to this video. Uh, okay, so when I started uh, investigating investigation about dark, dark coin, there was not much information in Russian at all. So my English was uh, awful at that moment. But when you invest some money, you have to understand uh, what the project is, what is details, what's all specific, and this was a great incentive incentivization for me to learn more about. Uh, 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 dark coin to t to learn English and all this stuff and uh, at the end of uh, uh, 2014 I understand that many people in Russia can't find any information about uh, dark coin in Russian language and it stops them from investing from uh, helping this project so the very beginning it was uh, mainly the translation work. We translated as many as possible key information about dark coin at that moment. And uh, soon we um, uh, started to involve more and more people in this process. And now we have uh, the whole team of translators, about seven, eight translators working in on translations. Uh, and I'm coordinating uh, them. So I never intended to be kind of formal leader of, Ru of Dash Russia. I would prefer to, if somebody else will do this work, but as, as nobody have done anything, so I decided to, uh, to put my efforts on it um, so wow. here I am now so yeah. so you've done even more than I thought I didn't realize that you also learned much more English to be able to do this job to go back and forth that's very interesting so would you mind telling me where are the main websites or social channels where Russian speakers go to view things that your team has translated? Mm -hmm. uh, first of all, it was a, a Russian section on official Dash org forum. Uh, as, uh, there are also some several other cryptocurrency forums uh, with uh, uh, Dash um, uh, threads that uh, we can put info into. Uh, there are several cryptocurrency uh, 
uh, medias here in Russia, and uh, they most of them are willing to publish any uh, news about us that we are translated. Uh, some of them prefer Bitcoin only materials, but many of others are quite friendly to Dash also. So it's not a problem for us to publish uh, information. Uh, recently, we have a member of Russian team, uh, Grebenshikov, who started his own dash oriented website uh, that is mainly um, specialized on dash information and uh, now about half of our translations is published there and also Yulia this uh, girl video blogger she uh, um, uh, she's doing every week uh, dash news um, uh, video in Russian it also helps us to keep uh, our uh, people dash people informed uh, and uh, in uh, in this year i think the main channel is becoming the telegram chat russian telegram chat it's about uh, 800 people's uh, people there at the moment and it's the most active uh, source of uh, people to get help to get informed and all this stuff wow so would you say that there has been a uh, growth of Dash ownership in Russia over the past two years since you started your efforts? Yes, definitely. I see the rising activity of uh, Dash, not only investors, but only miners uh, and all people around this project. Um, maybe the uh, uh, <laughs> the last rise of price uh, have damaged a little bit this process because many uh, people has fixed their uh, investments and uh, sold Dash uh, uh, oh. intended intended to buy it cheaper and now I I know it, it's a really big problem because we really um, have um, missed many important people of uh, Dash team. Who, uh, who has done translation also and told the stuff people sold their dashes and can't buy them back. So they are now looking for some cheap alternatives and it's, uh, well, it's from other hand, but, but from other, from, uh, from another hand, uh, some new people's very, uh, I would say, um, uh, strong investors uh, come in the, the scene and start their own investigation, how to help projects they are planned to invest in creating infrastructure about not only Russian Dash but uh, some creating some new services. I think we will see them soon, uh, and it's another compensation for us uh, from losing one people but uh, uh, getting more um, another involved. Very yeah. good. Yeah, uh, I like to say what I heard Roger Veer say to Tao. I believe it was which was, uh, don't short Dash, don't, don't, don't short the altcoins. <laughs> I, I wouldn't short Dash or, or pretty much any of the altcoins at this point. Maybe I just say that because I myself am a failed day trader. I remember it was something like something late 2014 or early 2015. I first learned of this concept of day trading in cryptocurrency and I thought I would give it a try with Dogecoin and Litecoin. And of course I lost money and I, I never touched any of that again. I thought I'm not a trader. I would just like to find what I think is going to win and just hold on to it and that's it. But uh, so I have a final question for you, Alex, which is um, what is your advice for anybody who is perhaps like you in that uh, a person living in a country that does not speak English as the main language and they're thinking the same thing you're thinking, which is there isn't a lot of Dash information in my home language. How would you recommend that they get started on the same path that you are on for their country? Uh, if such a person is uh, interested in uh, developing Dash project, uh, maybe it's kind of investor or kind of person who get uh, his own budget uh, proposal proposal approved. Uh, if they have incentivization to do it, 
uh, then just start working because uh, you can't create something huge at one moment. You have to start to doing uh, uh, basic things yourself, understand the problems, the best ways, uh, the optimization of the process, and then you just delegate this uh, uh, part of uh, this process to another people in your country. Uh, don't try to do everything yourself. You'd better do, create a atmosphere and community. The more people involved in national communities, the more possibilities will uh, appear. Because if uh, you have uh, ten people that involved in this process, you can create different uh, schemes and uh, possibilities, uh, and so on. Very good. So create possible. Don't do everything yourself. Uh, help other people like you, a video blogger like Grebenshikov, who creates site, like many many other people who wants to help the project. Help him to help to help the project. No, don't do it or everything yourself. That's my advice. Well, I just appreciate that a lot. All right. Well, Alex. Um, as I mentioned earlier, you do have an online handle. So for anyone looking for Alex on the Dash Nation Slack, for example, it's Alex hyphen RU. And is there any, any other social profile people should look for you at Alex? Um, at the moment, I don't spend much time in uh, Dash Nation Slack because uh, too, too much work in uh, Russian um, uh, segment, in Russian Telegram. In Russian Telegram. In, 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 in past, I tried to help uh, to English community a lot, but uh, now I see there are a lot of uh, new faces like you, like Tao, that are quite successful in this direction. So I decided to dedicate myself to Russian um, promotion mainly but you always can find me on dashorg forum i'm alex through there you can find me in slack ch chat also if just point me out that uh, so i will see that somebody is looking for me okay. so i will answer then i will paste the uh telegram invitation to the russian telegram in the description of this video for anyone who wants to find you there also okay okay all right thank you for your time alex Thank you. Bye. Bye.